Myanmar now faces severe famine risk after coup displaces millions. Hundreds of thousands displaced, millions face hunger crisis after Myanmar coup. And I, and I said, and I'm going to say in the video that displacing millions because technically it's they're, they're saying 250,000, but I'm seeing I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm just going to tell you it's way more than 250,000. And if people are, are going to be facing famine, that is a significant displacement in and of itself. Maybe it's not a home displacement, but it is a displacement. And so our top link for this, this is a topic report. Our top link for this is, or no, this isn't a top link. Yeah, it is. This is a top link, topic report, right? So our, our topic is Myanmar coup protesters hunger displacement. Our first story here, globalnews.ca, up to 3.4 million in Myanmar face hunger after military coup, United Nations says. An excerpt from it, food insecurity is rising sharply in Myanmar in the wake of the military coup and de deepening financial crisis with millions more people expected to go hungry in coming months, the United Nations said on Thursday. Up to 3.4 more Million more people will struggle to afford food, afford food in the next three to six. I don't know if that's weeks or months. I'm assuming it's uh, probably months, but it probably should say weeks. Now it, it does say, yeah, it's uh, in the next th three to six months. It really should say three to six weeks because uh, things are disintegrating uh, very quickly there in Myanmar because nobody, nobody supports you, uh, coup leaders. World's oil and gas gas majors cannot be accepted except expected to save Myanmar. This is from Nikkei.com. Uh, excerpt from it. Uh, Va Vandarani Hari is founder of Singapore-based Vanda Insights, which tracks. Mar okay, so you're just telling me who you are. Well, let's see. I can see who you are, but I see. Pushing international oil and gas companies to quit Myanmar is an attempt to starve the military junta of vital revenue and force an end to the coup is not only futile but loaded with potentially harmful long-term consequences. Uh, singer Van Vanda Insights, which tracks energy markets. So yeah, they, they're they're probably if they're tracking energy markets, they're probably in bed with the energy markets because that usually goes. That's how it goes basically in most major media outlets throughout the world. Oil major Shell, Chevron, and Total, alongside a handful of prominent players from China, South Korea, Thailand, and Australia, are all heavily invested in Myanmar. And I know I switched before, you know, Myanmar and Myanmar, and I still hear people say it, either Myanmar or Myanmar, so I'm still un unsettled. Uh, Myanmar, Russia will keep working to implement defense contracts. That is very interesting. Russia is pushing forward. Now, when you say Myanmar, you should say coup Myanmar. Really, I, I have made it a general practice in my own life. I'm going to somewhat start to do it in, in when I do the reports. But it's not really the United States of America. It's Biden admin America. It's, and, it's, and, and this is true for all nation states. It's the, the, the quote unquote nation state is really whichever faction happens to own the means of political power which is essentially political power is gun power, and you need gun power. Even the corporate nationalists ultimately need that gun power. They just n rather not do it directly, so they rely on the nation states that they control to give them the gun power to protect their assets when they, they stop serving their customers and they start trying to make their customers. And uh, it seems like the nation state of uh, Putin, Russia, has decided in Putin's interests and his family and friends and whatnot, that it is it is definitely in their interest to support the coup. And that is signaled here with this defense contract still going forward. Cooperation between our countries is very important, and we appreciate this cooperation. It is not only in the form of procurement of weapons efforts to create an army in line with modern standards will continue. Work is underway in accordance with the existing contracts. It is going as agreed in the contract, the general says, and this is General Zhao Min Tun speaking to Sputnik, and Sputnik is, I want to make sure you know, Sputnik is basically a Russian propaganda site. 
And then we get Myanmar protest show an AR-15 will protect a lot more freedom than a slingshot. This is from Reason.com. What good is an AR-15 against an oppressive government armed with tanks and bombers? Well, that's the question gun owners often get asked, as if the destructive power of the modern state is a mic drop argument against private weapons ownership. It's like... What are you going to do against an oppressive state with the uh, AR-15s? Well, we're going to do more than we will with slingshots. That's for darn sure. I mean, it might not be the be-all, end-all cure, but we're certainly going to do far more than we would with slingshots as, 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 a, as, a, as a Christian and in operating in the civic, I would say. I'm, I'm not for armed revolutions against governments, but uh, still, I'm, I get your point. And I, and I respect your point. Every day when Ko Win Kiao goes out to demonstrate against the Myanmar military, he carries his slingshot and a supply of rocks as ammunition. What began as peaceful protest after the 5th, February 1st coup rapidly grew into a resistance movement with citizens defending themselves using slingshots, homemade air guns, old hunting rifles, and firebombs. But don't worry. People are gathering in their basements right now. They got their 3D printers. They're working on stuff. If this thing continues, you're going to start to see this, this, this problem continue to emerge for them. And then uh, more headlines here. Myanmar military crackdown on anti-coup protesters displaced nearly 250,000 people, Yuan Anvoy says. And I believe that's way more than that. That's why I said millions in the video title. Chevron lobbies to head off new sanctions on Myanmar from New York Times. That's right. Chevron wants to make sure. No, 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 no. We have to we have to keep our, our business interests. These are the, the, the Chevron. Be, I'm sure that Chevron has its own, quote unquote, woke policies that it's implementing because it's part of the nation state, na na nas uh, the, the corporate nationalist movement in general. But while they're doing that, while they're preaching their wokeness and their self-righteousness to everybody else, they want to make sure that they can continue to make money even as Myanmar coup leaders murder their own citizens to oppress them. Not very woke now, are they? U.S. hits Myanmar pearl timber companies with sanctions from Voice of America. And then finally, Myanmar protesters facing new safety concerns as military enacts new regulations over hosting guests. A demonstrator gesture... And this is from the global and mail.com. Okay, well, there you go. That's that report. <laughs>